peace and love to each and every single one of y'all. I just want to thank you for taking the time out to check out my YouTube channel. If it's your first time stopping by, welcome to the family. Now, please do not forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Now, today we're making a black forest cake, so please stay tuned. This cake will have layers of chocolate cake, a cherry jam, dark chocolate mousse, and a whipped white chocolate ganache. Cherries happen to be a stone fruit, which means that you do not need to add any kind of pectin or gelatin when you're making the jam, which is awesome in terms of practicality, which is what I'm trying to focus on for the direction of this channel. Start off by baking the chocolate cake. I happen to have the perfect chocolate cake recipe. I'll put a link in the description below for that. And then after that, we'll make the cherry jam. You want to pit the cherries using a blunt paring knife if you do not happen to have a cherry pitter. If you have a cherry pitter, please feel free to go ahead and use that. I would not advise you to use a paring knife unless you have superior knife skills. All right, now, after you dump in the cherries, we'll add a little bit of sugar and some rum and orange juice, and we'll cook them down until they're nice and thick. You don't need to add any kind of pectin. Once that's done, you want to puree them, either using an emulsifier or a Robocool or a blender, whatever it is that you have. When you're done cooking down the cherries and pureeing them, you want to cover them in plastic wrap and refrigerate them overnight for the jam to thicken. The jam is ready, we're going to move on to the dark chocolate mousse. For that, you're going to need chopped up dark chocolate, you're going to need some egg whites, and you're going to need some sugar, immerse in some water to make an Italian meringue, and then you're going to need some heavy cream. The mousse will start off by whipping some heavy cream to stiff peaks. We'll fold in some vanilla paste and cherry liquor. We'll cover this and set it aside in the refrigerator. Then melted my chocolate in a microwave and set it aside at room temperature. I then made an Italian meringue by whipping up the egg whites until they reached soft peaks. At the same time, I had the sugar and the water going until it reached 144 degrees Fahrenheit. I then carefully drizzled the sugar syrup into the egg whites and whipped them until they reached stiff peaks. I have a video where I go a lot more into detail on how to make an Italian meringue. I'll insert the video in the description box below. Once the Italian meringue is ready, you want to pour your chocolate over the meringue and gently fold it in a circular motion to make sure the meringue and the chocolate are completely incorporated. Once everything is incorporated, we'll then gently fold in the whipped cream that we made earlier in a circular motion to complete the chocolate mousse, then we'll start the assembly of the cake. Okay, we'll start off by slicing the chocolate cake. Once that's done, we'll pipe a layer of the cherry jam right on top. When that's finished, we'll add another layer of the chocolate mousse that we just made. We'll cover it with another top of the chocolate cake. We'll then get it in the freezer to set for about two hours.
frosted the chocolate cake with whipped white chocolate ganache that had a little bit of kirsch, which is cherry liquor in it. And I'll pop a, a link in the description below on how to make white chocolate ganache. It's super easy and it's super delicious. All right, so please feel free to check it out. I did a crumb coating for the frosting because I'm gonna cover the cake with a chocolate collar so I didn't really bother going crazy with all the frosting. Once that's done, I then piped, I don't know how to describe it, kind of like a swirl. I'm gonna show you guys a clip at the end on how to make something similar using a piping bag if you do not happen to have this tip. It's called a St. Honoré tip. You can probably get it on eBay, Amazon, or wherever it is you get your baking supplies, but if you don't happen to have it, I'll show you how to cut a piping bag to get the same exact effect that I got on the top of this cake. made a cake collar using some coating chips which you can find at your local grocery store. I will drop a video on how to make chocolate decor using you know coating chips that you can find at your local grocery store. It doesn't necessarily have to be coated with your chocolate. Granted it's a lot harder to work with but I'll show you a couple tricks here and there how you can finesse it. So now please, it's been real but I gotta get up out of here. Please, 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 please do not forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. As always, it's your boy, The Lazy Pastry Chef. Stay safe out there. Make sure you're eating your fruits and your vegetables. Take care of your family. Reach out to your loved ones. Peace and love. Oh, and by the way, R.I.P. Brianna Taylor, Black Lives Matter. Peace.